So why in the world am I talking about dogs playing poker? Well, just like the series suggests, I love digging up obscure things. And this is just another case of me wanting to showcase some oddities to you guys. Now, to back up for a little bit, the, how I know this game even exists is because Jeff Schleg over on the Discord made it aware that he had a copy of this that he had found at like a yard sale or something. Now I, it's no secret. I'm obsessed with value soft. I show this shirt off a lot. And uh, <laughs> and this has value soft's name on it. And I thought, man, it's just my throat in the pile of things I might talk about. But then we discovered that the website for this game is still up. Slightly Subtle Technology Incorporated. And I'm not going to lie, I really, really love that logo. Now, reading this is a little depressing because it says our first product is Dogs Playing Poker. And I'm pretty sure this is their only product. I can't find any other games made by Slightly Subtle Technology Incorporated. And if it does exist, then I'm assuming it's even more obscure than this is. You can go to eBay right now and buy this game for dirt cheap. It's not expensive at all. And even at the time, they did have kind of the foresight to not charge much for this game. Even ValueSoft didn't slap her stupid price tag on this. Because even on the website, it talks about how it was $9.99 and you could find it at like Best Buy, Walmart, and all kinds of retailers. Interestingly enough, this game supports every resolution under the sun. If I had to guess, it's probably just going off Windows settings or it reads what your native resolution is and just scales back or something, I don't know. I don't think they had the foresight to program all these resolutions in in 2002. There is graphics options and I turned them all low to see if anything would happen, but it looked about the same. You have several poker styles you could choose from with different rule sets and different betting schemes. And it really does seem like this is a pretty in-depth poker game. I mean, even the website refers to it as a poker engine in certain sections. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know much about poker. <laughs> I learned enough to be really good at Red Dead Redemption 1's poker. and uh, But that's about it. If a video game has poker, I will learn whatever style of play it is so I can get as much money as possible and, you know screw over my friends but this game I, I had no idea what i was doing i say that because i can't really speak to how good the ai is but the website boasts that the ai was super smart and they did write backstories for all these animals most of them are dogs there is like a robot and like an iguana and then then like a, a cat pretending to be a dog my favorite character honestly there's a dog named Shasta, too, which is kind of funny in an inside jokey way that two of you will get. Because I only understand the very basics of poker, I don't know how good this AI is. I did continually lose often, but it was because I thought I could kind of out-trick them by folding. I thought if I kept raising and raising and raising that the AI would eventually fold. But when they had a good hand, they knew it and they stuck with it. I managed to win a hand or two, but that was about it. There's a couple environments and nothing changes in between them in terms of gameplay. It's just what you're going to be looking at for the entire game of poker. But they have a lot of detail and a lot of nifty little references within them. I quite like the kitchen. I think that's my favorite one. But since this is based off those paintings that I'm sure you've seen a million times, if not, here it is. This is one of many dogs playing poker paintings that you can find out there. The parlor is the place that you want to play if you want to mimic those paintings you've seen everywhere this is probably some business executive's favorite game out there and he still probably plays it on his windows 10 machine and i guess i should throw that out there that this game worked completely fine on windows 10 but yeah i had i wanted to throw this quick video together i thought it was so weird the graphics are just strange and you are a human you're playing as a human because your hands that are holding the cards are not paws. So these talking animals are allowing the human to sit at the table and play a game with them. But yeah, I'm Elijah Moon Blackwell with CD-ROM Fossil. Thanks to these lovely people right here and for for uh, supporting me over at Patreon. And because of you, more weird games get dug up. But of course, this game was dug up by Jeff. And so thanks again to him for sharing me this weird oddity in ValueSoft's catalog. I'm Elijah Blackwell, see Ron Fossil, and I'm... I still don't know how to end videos. <laughs>